I'm Shemi Ajayi, and this is the Albion Boys. Um, I feel like I've got to go for myself, you know. Um, I think I can put a pretty good outfit together. Um, there's a few other candidates, but I'm definitely going to go for myself. I feel like you have to. Um, Jason Malumbi, I think, um, very easily rattled. Um, any little bit of banter, he's nibbling. Um, he's throwing his toes out of the pram a couple of times in training. So, yeah, definitely Jason Malumbi. To be honest, I'm not that active on social media myself, but whenever I do hop on my channels, I'd probably say, I'm always seeing Brandon Thomas Sante posting something or liking something. So um, I'd say Brandon. Um, I'd probably give it to Matt Phillips or Nathaniel Chaloba, which, you, which is probably a surprise to people, but Nate, Nate can throw, can chuck some weight about in the gym. So, um, and Matty as well, Matty's in there. Matty's first one in there, last one out as well, so I'll give it to Matty as well. We've got a few. Um, I want need to, we need to give this one a think, you know. All right, I'll say Alex Mowat. Alex Mowat, um, the first season he signed on though, I think that was the season we first come down from the, um, from the Prem. He, um, we used to come in the change room every morning and there was just this awful smell, but we wouldn't know what it was. And then like a month later, we found out like he'd been letting off stink bombs in people's lockers for a month. <laughs> just nobody knew. <laughs> so um, yeah, Alex Martin. Um, I might have to give this one to Jason Malumbi again, actually, um, simply for the fact that every single time he gets fined, whether he's black or white and he's 100% like, I find he finds a way to argue about it and try and keep keep his coins in his pocket. So um, I'm going to give it to Jason. He can, he can never be wrong. Maybe Jed. Maybe Jed Wallace. I can imagine him on the TV giving it a go. Um, we speak a lot about football anyway. So um, yeah, he's got some good takes on football and I could definitely imagine him being a pundit later on when he finishes football. Um, best technician in the squad, I'll have to give it to John Swift. Um, some of the things I see him doing training every day is outrageous. So, um, yeah, absolutely John Swift. Mm -hmm.